If you're like me and you have the DJI mic, well, then you're having a good time because this thing has been fantastic for me over the last several months when I'm doing my tutorials. I don't have this big cord hanging around, but there was always a few issues and I overlooked them. But now DJI just sent out a new firmware update that addresses those and it's even better than ever now. Hi, I'm Jared with VisibleTour.com and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the DJI mic, the new firmware update, why it matters to you, why it matters to me, and where is it going in the future because I think this has the opportunity to do a lot more updates. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel where we talk about photography, video, my social life. I don't have one. I have kids and a wife. That's my social life. But today we're going to talk about the DJI mic and the new firmware update, which I love firmware updates. I love to talk about them because they always improve. Even the minute little ones do. But this one is not minute. This one is big. It is huge. It makes a big difference. And if you have the DJI mic, you're going to definitely appreciate these updates. So there's three major updates done. One of them is actually more important to me than any of the others. And so I'm just going to tell you what that is. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Hold on. Let me show you first. We are going to move from the Sennheiser 416 over to this, and then I can explain those updates directly with the DJI. The sound is going to be a little bit different. That sound is great. The sound is good too, but there will be a difference. I'm going to show you right now. So here we are, we are using the transmitter of the DJI mic along with the receiver over on top of the Canon R7 that I'm using right now. And you can obviously see the two bright lights. Now these can actually be dimmed a little bit. This is at the brightest. So before the firmware update, you could go to a lower setting and this is what that looks like. And there you go. It is a little bit lower of a light, but it is still there. It's still obvious. So when you're doing an interview style and somebody has it on them, you can still see those lights. But if you're in a darker space, well, yeah, you're going to see it and it is a little obvious. So those interviews can be kind of robotically awkward, but the firmware now has allowed you to turn off those lights completely and now it's not so distracting. You can monitor it from the uh, receiver, the transmitter, you can't see it at all. So let's do it right now. And now it is off. The lights are off. There's no LED lights showing and it's not as obvious. So if I'm out and about and you see these lights on me, I've always had people look at it and now it's not as distracting. That's a huge update. That is the biggest update. I'm going to go over the next two, but at the end, I am going to talk about how to update it. It is so easy. Even my mom can do it. She's probably watching this video right now thinking, yes, I could do it. Even my special needs son can do it. I can do it. You remember that video? The other update is that the receiver now will turn off after 30 minutes of not having a signal to the transmitter, which is great because you are now saving that battery. But at the same time, it's still not huge to me because the battery life on this is awesome and on the receiver. I have never had a problem where I'm like, whoa, this battery is going to die. I probably could shoot for a whole day and still have enough power and they charge so much faster. Gosh, I love them. They're awesome. And the third and final update on here was there were some sync issues in the beginning of recording that sometimes it wouldn't catch everything. I never had that issue, but apparently people out there have and that fixes it. But for me, the huge one is no more lights, no more bright lights out there. That distraction when I'm doing those kind of tutorial videos or those explanations on lenses, you're no longer like, whoa, look at Jared's jacket. It's like glowing, totally glowing, man. It's glowing. It's no more of that. It's more like, whoa, look at Jared's eyes. They're like so green-ish blue turquoise. Awesome. So what you're going to do is you're going to go onto the DJI website. So look up DJI Mike, go into their firmware update, 
and then you're gonna grab the file. Now there's gonna be two different files that you have to grab. They're very small, they'll take you a second to download, and one is going to be for this, which is the receiver. So then you'll plug into the USB-C right there, and you will drag that file from your desktop onto this. It's like a little mini SD in here, and then you will unplug it, and this will automatically start updating, and then it will be done. It'll even say updating on the screen. It's very simple. Then you're gonna take each transmitter individually, you're gonna plug it into the USB, there's a separate file for that, that's gonna be TX for transmitter, you're gonna download it onto your desktop, you're gonna plug this in by USB, you're gonna drag it into the file here, and then after it is dragged in, you're gonna unplug it, and this is gonna blink several times, and that will be updated once it's done blinking. You'll do the same thing with the other one, and that is it. And then you're gonna have these options where you can go in and change the brightness and turn them off completely. That's the biggest update. So if you're somebody who's doing tutorials or doing any kind of interview style, this needs to be updated immediately because it's gonna make a huge difference. You will not see lights on me anymore unless I want you to. So that could be the case. I doubt it though. I don't see any artistic reason why you need to see yellow, green. I'm colorblind by the way, but you know, whatever this color is. And this goes to my final point. And my final point is this, do you have a DJI mic system? And if you don't, what do you have? Because if you don't have a good transmitter and receiver when it comes to lavalier mics, this thing is solid. I've been using it for the last six months and it's a huge difference. I came from the Rodeling Filmmakers Kit by, yes, Rode. And although it was awesome, I used it for a decade, it has its issues and it's not cheap either. It's almost the same cost, if not more. And you only get one transmitter where you get two transmitters here. You can have an interview style. It is fantastic. I'm gonna leave a link below for this kit. It is awesome. You're not going to regret it. It is amazing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you found this helpful at all, please hit that like button. It does help the channel out and um, it makes me feel good about myself. So that wraps it up, but there's a couple videos that you can check out. I'm sure you're going to like them. I haven't had too many complaints. And if I do, I just delete them, but you should check those out. Google's telling you to. Don't, don't tick Google off. They'll be mad.